It's a simple yes or no answer. I don't understand what is holding you back. Clearly you want this as much as I do. Evie brushed a finger across her chin. Four days of digging in her heels and putting off making a final decision. This had to be a record for her. I understand this is time sensitive. However, there's a lot to consider. I wish I could give you a straight answer, but my life is rather complicated. Such a commitment requires careful consideration. And, Evie thought, yes or no answers were not always possible. For instance, did she like the color blue? The answer should be simple, but it actually depended on the shade of blue in question. Evie glanced at Tom's blue eyes. She'd always thought of them as a deep ocean blue, harboring great depth and mystery. She'd also heard the color referred to as indigo blue. Indigo. Deep ocean blue. It didn't matter what name it went by. She loved Tom's blue eyes. However, while the colour reminded her of the ocean and Tom's eyes, it also brought back memories of her first tutor's indigo blue dresses. She'd been a hard taskmaster and quite liberal with her threats to withhold meals until her lessons were all absorbed. Swallowing hard, Evie recalled the many lunches she had been forced to forego all because of her negligent attention span. So, since the colour also made her think of hunger and punishment, she found herself in two minds and quite unable to provide a yes or no answer. You look confused. Evie snapped out of her reverie and slumped back in the passenger seat. Out of the corner of her eye, she could see Tom drumming his fingers on the steering wheel. And, she thought, staying right out of the conversation. Glancing up, she looked at Lottie Mannering. The lady detective had made a valid point. She did want to do this. She'd had four days to think about the offer. Why couldn't she decide and give her an answer right now? She and Tom had been driving out every day to rendezvous with Lottie Mannering. Each day Lottie had sported one of her many disguises, making it difficult to spot her. Today, the lady detective had opted for a deranged look. Her hair poked out from under her shabby-looking hat. She wore glasses with thick lenses that made her eyes look bigger. Several layers of padding had added to her girth. The coat she wore looked threadbare, hung lopsided, and had patches of various colours in the oddest places. For added effect, Lottie had been carrying two large hessian bags full of what appeared to be old rags. My apologies, Evie said. I've been caught up with reminiscences. I will think about your proposal, and I promise I will have an answer for you tomorrow. Tom nudged her. Someone's coming out of the store. The someone Tom referred to was the real reason for Lottie's regular trips to the village of Holton. Lottie had described the young woman as tall with a mass of blonde curls. That's her, 